the constitution and the people of Kenya in its wisdom, in their wisdom, have allowed separation of powers between the two levels of government. Zoning, waste management, pollution, whether it's air, sound, is a function of counties. But I want to assure this house, now that I'm the Minister for Environment, we will not issue a license. We will be the ones. If we don't issue, nobody can build. And I want members to help us and help the country. People are building flats that the people who live in those flats, in those residential areas, have no access to light, they have no access to fresh air, they are, and, 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 and you can imagine, if you have young children, those children will not grow. I'm not a doctor, Dr. Pukukose, and the doctors who are sitting in this house, and those who are listening will agree with me. But I have given NEMA strict instructions that is not going to be business as usual. On Honorable Coet, Madam Deputy Speaker, I want to confirm uh, that there is the existence of these two companies, one in, in, in Arok West constituency, bordering Chapalungu constituency. And I also want, wish to confirm that these companies practice large-scale farming using irrigation. The second question, Madam Speaker, was to confirm the allegations made by the residents of those uh, five or six villages that the said companies are engaged in something called cloud seeding. Madam Speaker, on the second question, if you allow me, let me, they, they, they engage in cloud seeding. Let, before I proceed, let me try to respond to this question and allow me briefly to explain to the House what cloud seeding is all about. Cloud seeding is a where, or is where weather modification technique that changes the amount or the type of precipitation from the clouds in terms of rain. There has been research aim, done aimed at establishing whether this is viable, but all studies have shown that the input expenses are far more than the benefits. Madam Speaker, the Ministry is not aware through our meteorological department that such entities are engaging in cloud seeding activities within the said locality. On the alteration of rain patterns in the area of interest, Madam Deputy Speaker, data available to us from the neighboring Longisa Automatic Station owned by Kenya Meteorological Department indicates that there has been an increase in the annual rainfall in that area tot uh, 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 totals as from 2018 to 2023 and I have attached the figure and the maps uh, to this document, which I have shared with the members. Secondly, Madam Deputy Speaker, the member asked uh, uh, to allow, uh, uh, allow me to highlight that what the, what the ministry, through the meteorological department, has done. The meteorological department, the Kenyan meteorological department, has recently s installed automatic weather stations in Chapalungu constituency and all its environments. However, specific variability in the specific locations could not be established due to lack of data. Our ministry and our department will continue monitoring the data for analysis to draw adequate information. And I want to assure you, once we make a, a policy formulation, we will forward to address this issue and we will not allow our communities to be aggrieved. Madam Speaker, the third question was the steps the Ministry intends to take to address the concern raised by the affected residents. Honorable Madam Speaker, on the last question, allow me from the onset to commit and to state our commitment towards protecting the interests of our local communities. To this end, in addressing the concerns of the affected residents, I commit to do a follow-up with the Ministry of Water and its agency, the Water Resource Authority, to ascertain the abstraction of water from both uh, River Amalo 
and River Nyangores, as mentioned. And we will report back to this house in very, very due course within two weeks. Further, going forward, I, uh, we hope that by the enactment of the meteorological bill, which is before the house, the meteorological department will have the powers to regulate weather-related activities in the country. Thank you, Madam Speaker.